Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, excited to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. My friends, here we are in the first Sunday in August. Oh my goodness, where has the time gone? It's speeding, it's speeding by. I hope you're on your assignment. I hope you are doing everything that the Lord has called you to do because I want to tell you my friends time is getting short huh time is getting short i hope you're being obedient to whatever god has told you to do all right that's all i gotta say about that all right well let me tell you i'm excited because we've got a great program as we do every single week every single week the lord blesses yes he does you know for the entire month of july we had been talking uh with mr kelvin obacom and some of his many friends about the upcoming convention for the Missouri State Funeral Directors and Embalmers Association. And we've been talking about the different events that are going to be happening during that week that starts today. So we're going to have Mr. Kelvin Obacom back on the show this morning as he's going to have some friends with his elder Greg Happy Guitar Haynes and Mr. Michael D. Murray, the president of A.L. Bill Mortuary. They're going to be here this morning talking about the Stop the Violence Parade that's going to go on at 1 p.m. today. 1 p.m. today. So you can still be a part of it. You'll hear more about that in just a few minutes. And then also this morning we're talking with Mr. Michael Holmes who is the president of RX Outreach. What a phenomenal, phenomenal organization business this is. I'm telling you Everybody in your household right now needs to hear this interview with this man because the the great deep discounts that you can have for your medicines, for your pharmaceuticals. Let me tell you, this is the interview to listen to. He's going to be on the program this morning. And then also we're going to talk with Apostle C.V. LaFleur, a dear friend of the CBC radio show. Apostle LaFleur is so excited to talk with us this morning about the upcoming Holy Convocation, September 9th through the 11th, that's being hosted by the Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries. She's going to talk about that. And, you know, just so much more. I can't tell you all the details. You got to listen to the whole program. You hear me? I know you do anyway. I'm so excited about what God is doing. I want to just tell you, if you missed yesterday, the second annual gospel brunch of Myrtle Hillier Davis Comprehensive Health Centers, you missed a treat. Oh my goodness, it was phenomenal. The gospel entertainment that was there was just like none other. We had a great time. I was the mistress of ceremony for that event and I just thank the president and the CEO of Mother Hilliard, Mrs. Angela Claiborne. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of such a stellar event. It was wonderful. And you know what, friends, I tell you, you can start thinking about next year. That's right. This is going to be an event, an annual event. All right. So when I start talking about this next year, you're going to hurry up and get your ticket because you don't want to miss because it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. We had a great time yesterday. Thank you so much also to the staff at Norwood Country Club. We had a wonderful time. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. And when we come back, we're going to talk with Mr. Kelvin Obacom of Bacom's Precious Memory Services and his special friends so you can be a part of everything that's going on in this convention. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hello, church. This is Andre House from Thailand's Best Healing and Weight Loss Ministry. And my heart goes out to God's children who are dealing with these health issues, taking these pills 15, 20, 30 years, only to find themselves with the same problems today that they had 15 or 20 years ago. There's something not right with that picture. When God's word
word tells us beloved I wish above all things that you prosper be in health even as your soul prospers well if God wants us healed if God wants us to be made whole one of two things is happening it either God is a healer and he is not doing his job or we're putting something in our body that is just not right well I'm a firm believer that God is doing his job so that means there's something that we're putting in our bodies that's just not right that's prolonging our healing David says in the book of Psalms 51 verse 7 Lord purge me with hyssop that I will be clean wash me and I'll be white in the snow David understood the importance of purging the body well if David understood the importance of purging the body then we must understand the same thing what God tells us I give you medicines from the earth and he that is wise will not turn away from these saints we have got to turn back to God's medicines of the earth so that our healing will manifest bring me your arthritis gout high blood pressure high cholesterol diabetes acid reflux hair loss cancer obesity it don't matter just bring it Valencia Clay of St. Louis Missouri was taking 26 pills a day 90 days later she's not taking none Samantha Howard of West Helena, Arkansas, lost 204 pounds, and you can too. Mr. Jerry Garrett, who owns the upholstery shop on Brentwood Boulevard, defeated diabetes in less than 90 days. In the last five years, God has used this little healing ministry to deliver over 28,000 of his children off all those drugs and medicines that just don't work. For more information, call us up at 314-306-9017. 314 314- 3069017 Once again church 3143069017 or visit us on the way up at youhousehealingherbs.com Thank you God bless you we love you Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, we have been talking about everything leading up till today when we are starting off. We're kicking off the Convention for the Missouri State Funeral Directors and Embalmers Association. We've been so blessed the entire month of July to talk about the events that are leading up to today. And so we have back in our studio, Mr. Kelvin O'Bacom of Bacom's Precious Memory Services, and some of his friends to continue talking about how the entire metropolitan area of St. Louis, Missouri can be involved in this great event. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Mr. Kelvin O'Bacom of Bacham's Precious Memory Services, Elder Greg Happy Guitar Haynes, and Michael D. Murray, president of A.L. Bill Marchuary. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to be here. Yes. All right, all right, y'all know it by now. Who gonna take it, Elder Haynes? Let me let me let you take this. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And we will rejoice and be glad in it. You all right? You all right? You knew that answer. You knew it. I don't know. You might have cheated. You knew it. You knew it. Well, I tell you, Mr. Bacham, here we are. We are here. Today yeah. is the day, and I am so glad about it. Yes, yes, yes. We are kicking off everything today. Uh, there's a, f- a phenomenal Stop the Violence rally and parade that is a part of this Missouri State Funeral Directors and Embalmers Association. And tell us about that a little, uh, uh, Mr. Bacham. Then we're going to kick it over to Mr. Murray. Oh, well, thank you, Sister Nona. I am so glad to be here today, and we're wiring it down to the end. And it's the kickoff, the start of the National Funeral Directors and Morticians Convention, our 78th convention. Mm -hmm. Our convention has not been here in over 40 years, so we are glad to be the host state for this convention that's about to happen. Mm. But today we're going to talk about the Stop the Violence Parade. I mean, it's getting ready to happen in the next couple of hours right there on Washington Avenue at the Central Baptist Church. I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Mike Mary of the AL Bill March Words, and he's going to give us an insight on what's going on. Good morning, good morning. I'm glad to be here with you, Evangelist Thomas. Me too. Glad to see you, sir. Once again, we are here to stand together and stop the violence in our city. This is one of the highest murder rates in St. Louis history. We only into the seventh month. And whatever funeral directors can do at this point to lend a hand Mm -hmm. to show that we're not happy about a profit off of people losing their lives. Yes, yes. You know, so I'm so glad that we're able to put this parade together and this mm-hmm. rally together. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll be starting here shortly uh, at the Central Baptist Church. We're going to have a, a rally where Major Ronnie Rob- Roberts from the St. Louis Metropolitan 
uh, police department will be speaking, and then we will be getting started with the parade. All right. Anyone that would like to join our parade route, we will be going west on Washington Avenue, north on Vandeventer. We will be going west on Page, north on Union, and back east on Martin Luther King, all the way through to downtown via Cass Avenue to 10th Street. And the parade will end at 10th and Cole. So anyone that would like to come out on today and show your support, if it's a sign, if you just want to stand out, blow your horn, whatever the case may be along the parade route, please come out and show your support to help stop the violence in our city and show that violence is not acceptable. That's right. And this is all starting at one o'clock today. And there's something very unique, I think, about this parade. Tell us what that is. We're going to see something unique. What is that going to be? Well, we're going to have a mock funeral. We're going to have a parade of hearses. Mm -hmm. The local funeral directors in the city are donating hearses Mm -hmm. to be in this parade along with limousines. And Mm -hmm. some of our biker organizations will Mm -hmm. be out today along Mm -hmm. with the St. Louis Metropolitan Police providing escort service. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I really think that is so unique, Mr. Bauckham, because what it's saying is that all of the funeral directors, you know, you all are coming together, but you're saying, look, we, this is not what we want to see. That's correct. All right. We That's want correct. the violence to we stop. We want violence to stop. So it, it's just unique, isn't it? It's very unique. This is something that happens whenever the National Convention convenes in any state this is something that they do mm-hmm. they put together a stop the violence parade yeah. so it happens all over the united states in whatever city that the convention is going to convene in so we're asking all of our local funeral homes east st louis mm-hmm. missouri kansas city because we got people coming in from kansas city missouri kansas city kansas mm-hmm. bring your hearses down your limousines and be a part of this grand affair that's going to happen and hopefully this will leave a stain in the city where we can stop some of this violence that's yes. going on yes yes And I know, as I said, you know, we're kicking this off today and then tomorrow night. Well, y'all know you got something important to tell us about tomorrow Oh, man, we can't wait to talk about tomorrow night. (laughs) Tomorrow night, Monday, August the 3rd, is the all-white. And I mean, many of you have called and said, well, do I have to wear white? Do I have to wear white? Well, look, you don't have to wear white, but if you want to collaborate with us, you know, mm-hmm. join in and mm-hmm. wear white, but you don't have to. It's not mandatory. So, but come on and be at this with us. It's the all white attire cabaret gala, which is at the Renaissance Grand Hotel in the Majestic Ballroom. You know, we've got a very, very national female recording artist, St. Louis's own Angela Winbush, mm-hmm. will be performing, kicking it off. And then we have our own Darius Bradford, who is also local who is national BET you know personality he will be there as our host Mm -hmm. and I'm going to let Mr. Greg Happy Guitar Haynes talk about the show I mean the production what's really going to happen all right all right but this is Greg Happy Guitar Haynes and uh you know, this is the Show Me State, so we got something for you in St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've had the honor and the pleasure of giving the task of being the, the music uh, director and uh, the producer of this great show. It's a production. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a tribute to the, the legends of uh, R&B, soul, and blues, and featuring some of the area's finest vocalists and a live band. Uh, uh, you know, we we have St. Louis's own Anita Jackson, uh, Samuel uh, Huddleston, Cheryl Brown, uh, uh, Adrian Felton King, Charlie Vaughn, and Joseph George, and Amos Brewer, and and they call me the Happy BB. <laughs> on that evening. But you'll have to hear songs from you know those legends who have paved the way, like you know Whitney Houston and and. Uh, uh, different ones, Luther Vandross, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I tell you, it's going to be a, a great event. We're excited. We got a, a one of the uh, we got the, one of the hottest band in the land, Jesse Prather on keyboard. We got uh, Michael Rain on bass guitar, Kenny Lawrence on drums. We got Amos Brewer, uh, and we got myself, and we got um, uh, just other musicians coming that evening. So, you want to come? You want to get there. It's a night of enjoyment, mm-hmm. a night of entertainment. Yes, we're going to have a great time, a great time with the Missouri State Funeral Directors and Environment Association. Now, the white attire, I heard we can wear a little splash of 
gold or purple. Gold and purple. <laughs> that's our national colors. Okay, all so, right. So you don't have to have to wear all white. You know, we're going to do a little touch I of understand. purple and gold. I understand. But um, I got the guitar tuned up right now, and uh, we got a little surprise for you. Oh, my. Did y'all hear that, St. Louis? The guitar is tuned up. Okay. Well, you know, I got some calls last night. Wanted to know. One lady said, well, is there going to be any blues there? She said, I want to know if it's going to be some blues. And I said, well, I believe Miss Lucille will be there. You know, <laughs> this is our heritage, uh, the music that, uh, uh, that we have. So you will hear the heritage of uh, the music. That uh, that has blessed us through all these years. We're excited, and uh, you know I got a special BB King guitar. All that right, is fifty years old that we'll have that Ooh, night. My wow, wow, that's wow, worth wow, the price wow, of the wow, right wow, there. wow, yeah. wow. So are we gonna hear some sounds of, you know, Perry Wright. Show you right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Very white. I mean, if you ever hear Charlie Vaughn of you know Master's Touch, you know he can put it down. And uh, Anita Jackson and uh, you know Marvin Gaye sounds. And uh, yes, uh, yes. We had rehearsal yesterday, and I tell you, Adrian Felton King just ripped. Uh, ripped it up. Y'all ripped oh, it up. Oh, man. But glory. You know, because you know what you're saying. This is the legend show. Right. right. It's a legend show. Yeah, yeah. And and putting this tribute together, we can expect this kind of excellence. And you know what? We, we you know, sometimes folks don't say the cost of a ticket when you're talking about events. But we don't have a problem saying that th- the cost of a ticket for this event is only $90. This is a stellar event. I mean, Mr. Barkham, this includes VIP parking, uh, complimentary uh, beverage. Beverages. I mean, the complimentary meal, food. You the, know, there's going to be food. You know, they're going to walk around and say, "We're going to you're going to feel grand that evening." You know, it's not one of these set down buffet type right. dinners. Okay, right. this is going to be an evening of enjoyment, fun, yes. and elegance. You know, beverages, food. And red Did you say something? Oh, about when red you car- pull up for that uh, valet parking, you're going to step out on the red carpet. All okay. Right. To make you feel like that you're somebody. All right. You know, this right. show, I tell you, I tell people everywhere that I go when I talk about this show, this is a Las Vegas style hit show. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, if you were going to Las Vegas and you wanted to attend this show, I know you wouldn't pay no less than $200 a ticket. Easily. Very easily. easily. So these tickets are only $90. And you can call 314-741-2444 right now. You still got time because tomorrow night is the event, but you still have time to get your ticket. 314-741-2444. You can ask for Kim or you can give Tawana a call. She'll be glad to help you there, serve you as far as getting your ticket. You can give her a call at 314 314- Nine six uh, was it nine seven four five six nine nine? Yeah, that's Tawana. You can reach her at that number. So tickets are still available, but the national uh, uh, people are coming in. Mm-hmm. This weekend, all of the uh, convention goers are coming in, and I, I tell you, when they get here on Saturday, those tickets are going to be gone oh, because they're going to buy them up. I they're going to buy it. them up. So, you, St. Louis, come get your tickets right now. That's it. That's it. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mr. Kelvin O'Bacham of Bacham's Precious Memory Services, Elder Greg Happy Guitar Haynes, Mr. Michael D. Murray, President of A.L. Bill Mortuary. You know, Mr. Murray, uh, as a legacy uh, mortuary, a legacy funeral service that A.L. Bill is, is, this is really a big deal for this event to be held here in St. Louis after so long, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With A.L. Bill being the oldest black funeral home in St. Louis, mm-hmm. we're kind of like the parent of every funeral home. All right. Everybody's a spinoff. <laughs> but funeral business is a service business, yes. and that's what A.L. Bill has always been centered around. So A.L. Bill is always pleasured in serving people. That's one of the things as a child working with Mr. Charles Stanley Wilson Jr. that mm-hmm. I learned mm-hmm. until his death and I have carried it on wherever I have worked until I came home to L. Bill. Yes, 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 really. You know, I have said it a couple times on the show, Mr. Bauckham. I've said that how I just admire have you how you have just collaborated and brought together uh, on this program so many other friends in the business. It's such a 
uh, a collaboration. It's a joint effort, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is a, a joint effort. And I want to give a shout out to Miss Ozella mm-hmm. J. Foster Robinson, who has been our chairperson here in the state of Missouri for the National Convention. She's done a well job, uh, a good job, and she has done well with putting things together, putting the committee people together, the spearheading this, and I want to give my hats out to her, also to Mr. William C. Harris, who is our president yes. of the Missouri State. Uh, he will be honored on Tuesday evening yes. um, as the professional of the year, so those of you that have heard about that, you can contact Mr. Harris if you're willing to uh, support him in that effort. Mm-hmm. And then on Wednesday evening, all of the funeral homes that are legendary marquee funeral homes that have been around 100 years, some have been around long Longer, they will be honored on that night, and that's on Wednesday evening, August the 6th, also at the Grand Renaissance. And for information about that, you can contact Miss Ozella Foster, Foster Funeral Home Service. All right. I mean, it's a packed time. I mean, St. Louis is going to be booming and moving fast. And, you know, I just want to get back to that Monday night affair, uh, uh, Elder Greg, because I'm already there. I'm uh, Tomorrow night, I, I feel like I'm already there. I can't wait. <laughs> well, it's going to be great. You know, if, if you, you could... I guarantee you, you could close your eyes that night and you're going to really think you're going to uh, that these people will be there. Whitney Houston, Etta James, Prince, Shaka Khan, Luther Vandross, Barry White, Peebo Bryson, Grove and Washington Jr. And yes, happy B.B. King. Oh, my God. So goodness. in other words, oh, no. Greg, their they spirit is going to be That's there. Right. That's oh, right. They spirit is going to be there. A special tribute. And I'm going to even sing. What you oh. say? Uh-oh. Look out now. I don't know Uh-oh. if I'm used to hearing you sing, now. Greg. <laughs> That's worth the ticket, St. Louis. That's worth the ticket. Come on out tomorrow working. night. Jesse been helping me work. I got it together. We're we going we to make it happen. Oh, we'll do man. It. It's, great. it's a great tribute. It's not yeah. a fun entertainment. I tell you, whatever you got to do to get your ticket, you need to call. Call right now. Please call. Please call. And then you can call at 314-741-2444. For Kimberly, and you get your ticket today. That's it. That's it right there. That's it. I, I mean, I'm, we've been talking about this all month. Half of St. Louis, you already got your ticket. The other half, don't wait no more, okay? Tomorrow night, we want to see you there. Come on up to us and say, hey, we heard about this. We want to be here. We're here. And just let us know how you enjoyed listening to Mr. Bacham all month long with his friends. What you think about oh, that, Mr. Bacham? Oh, man, I think about that. That is great. That is a great <laughs> thought. And you know what I want to say? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for some of our listeners. Uh-huh. Man, I tell you what. The first 10 listeners on today's show, but you got to mention it today that you heard it on CBC. We're going to get you your ticket for half price. Well, oh my. Okay. The Uh-oh. first 10. But you got to and you got to know what that special word is. And I'm going to give you that special word in just a minute. OK. Uh-oh. Okay. okay, before this show ends, you got to know the special word and you got to tell us that you heard it on CBC radio. All right. I like how you think, Mr. Bacham. Well, I tell you what, we're going to save that keyword or phrase for coming up in the program. So that means they got to listen to the whole show. Got to listen to the whole show. Okay. And uh, then you may have an opportunity to be blessed. I tell you, we're, we're, we're just about out of time, gentlemen. It has been a pleasure talking about this exciting week that is starting this morning. You got to be at the Stop the Violence rally. It is going to start at Central Baptist Church, and that is located. Y'all know where Central Baptist is. We Everybody knows where that church is. It's located at 2845 Washington Boulevard. Friends, it starts at 1 o'clock. Rally and parade. It's something that you don't want to miss. We know you're getting your tickets already for tomorrow night, and then you're going to just support what's going on here in St. Louis. Mr. Bacham, I'm going to let you give our final words as we go to a break. St. Louis will be here at the National Convention from August the 1st through August the 6th with a grand time. We have daily workshops uh, for the local funeral directors, those that are members of our association. We got workshops. We got things for the children. We got things that are happening for 40 and under. So it's a big uh, event that's about to happen here in the city of St. Louis. And I want to take my hats off to Sister Nona, Evangelist Nona Thomas, for allowing us to be here all month long yes. to promote what we're about to do. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. It has been a pleasure. I'm excited about it. I want to give that phone number one more time. It's 314-741-2444. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. And keep listening so maybe you'll get blessed with a half price.
price ticket, all right? Thank you, gentlemen, again, Mr. Kelvin O'Barkham of Barkham's Precious Memory Services, Elder Happy Guitar Haynes, Glory to God, and Mr. Michael Murray, President of ALBL Mortuary. Thank and, you, gentlemen. And Sister Nona, you said the key word, and I got the word in my head. You said it. So those that are call us, if you give us that key word that Sister Nona just said, you get your ticket for half price. All right. Y'all heard the man. All right. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is Kelvin Orlando Bauckham of Bauckham's Precious Memory Services, the alternative way of celebrating life's special moments. I am glad to be here at the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas, and I am looking forward to seeing you at our all-white attire Las Vegas-style cabaret gala, Monday evening, August the 3rd at 7 p.m., the Renaissance Grand Hotel in the Majestic Ballroom. See you there. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to be talking this morning with one of the sponsors of the CBC Radio Show and Christian Business Connection. I'm so excited to have in our studio today, Mr. Michael R. Holmes, president of RX Outreach. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Good morning to you. Now, I didn't prep you on this question. But I ask everybody who comes on the show this one little question. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. And it's a beautiful day. Thank you. Yeah. You're rejoicing in it. Absolutely. And you're glad in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great day. You know, and it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's if it doesn't matter because the S.O.N. is, is shining. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I want to get right to it because RX Outreach is doing some amazing things across the country. And we want people to know that this is a St. Louis based nonprofit organization. And just tell us, if you would, about RX Outreach and, and, and starting off setting the foundation, Michael. Tell us about how God gave you the vision. Okay. For this. Absolutely. I'll be happy to. So I was working at Express Scripts, which, you know, is the largest pharmacy benefit manager in the country. Mm -hmm. And I actually work for the chairman of the board. And, and one morning I was praying, saying, God, what do you want to do through me? And he put it on my heart clear as day to take RX Outreach, which was a pharmacy that the Express Scripts owned, to take it and to spin it off as a not for profit so it can go help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I got up that morning and I wrote a business plan to take this a pharmacy and a spinning off as a not-for-profit. I took it into the chairman of the board. I presented it to him, and he agreed to it on the spot. Wow. He wound up donating over $7 million worth of equipment to get us up and running. Wow. Now, I believe that's God. It, it, it could only be God. <laughs> wow. Well, RX Outreach is, is, uh, is known all throughout. But one thing I love about one of the phrases to describe, you say providing affordable medications for people in need. That's so important in these days, isn't it? Oh, yes, ma'am. In fact, um, since we've uh, spun off, which has been five years now, this mm -hmm. is our fifth year, we've mm -hmm. served over 200,000 patients, and we now save them over $300 million. Wow. You know, people should not have to make a decision on whether to pay the light bill or what they're going to eat or get their medication, should they? No, they shouldn't. And with RX Outreach, you don't have to make those tough calls. Yes, yes. And, and I think that's so important that the churches and the communities need to understand and hear more. You know, you hear so many uh, uh, claims about discount medications and things of that nature, but really RX Outreach is. Yes, ma'am. We are a not-for-profit organization, so I want to stress that. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make money. We're here to serve people. Mm -hmm. And in fact, our core value is to honor God by serving others. Yes. And I believe you really say that right out front, don't you? Tell me, where can we see that phrase? Uh, well, actually, the bottle tops that we send out, every prescription bottle that we send out says RX Outreach, honoring God by serving others right on our bottle top. Now, 
did you say right on the bottle top? Yes, ma'am. You are professing God right on the bottle top. Yes, ma'am. On every single one that goes out. So I think that's all right. I, I think that is uh, what he deserves, if not more. If not more. If not more. And I'm sure that that was um, that was probably an easy decision. But uh, what has it been a challenging decision for you? You know, there were some people that said, you can't do this. And I said, why not? Mm hmm. In the five years that we've uh, done this, we've only had one complaint. Mm. And that person was upset with God. And we use that as an opportunity to pray for them yes. and help them through their tough time. Indeed. Indeed. So uh, I believe that when you first started, of course, when you wrote that business plan, when you made that presentation, you were passionate about it. But what has kept you even going more so? I mean, I'm sure every every moment, every year it's getting stronger and stronger. How is that? Well, you know, when we first started, we, we served the first year about 30,000 patients. Mm hmm. Now we're serving about 90,000 patients. So we've grown each year. But, you know, God has been good to us along, you know, each step along the process. We went through times where we said, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't mm -hmm. know how we're going to get this drug. I don't know how we're going to be able to afford to do this. Mm -hmm. But he's come through each time and we've been able to uh, just to make it and to provide. And we've been blessed throughout the process. Indeed. I believe there's a word included in there that we can use. And that's called favor, isn't it? Yeah, we've had favor. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Yes, yeah. yes. So tell us here in, in 2015, as you have grown in this five years. Is there a, a, a particular uh, outreach or what is your, your next step in uh, RX outreach? Well, well you know, uh, first, let me make sure people understand that we're a mail order pharmacy. So we actually send our prescriptions through the mail mm -hmm. and we can send them to your home. We can send them to a friend's home. Uh, we can send them to, um, in, to a clinic. So we can send them wherever you need us to send them because we deal with people that sometimes they don't know where they're going to be living next week. Hmm. And so, mm -hmm. you know, we can send them wherever they need them to be sent. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only exception for that are the few controlled substances we have. Mm -hmm. Second thing I want them to understand is because it's mail order, these are chronic medications. Mm -hmm. So if you have an earache and the doctor says, uh, I'm going to prescribe amoxicillin for you today, well, you're not going to get that through mail order because you need that medicine today. So you're going to go to a retail pharmacy or to a hospital to get that now. We have the long-term medicines for diabetes, for hypertension, for mental health, for heartburn, those sort of things. So mm -hmm. we, we get that. So when we started, we had about 300 drugs. Now we have over 600 different types of drugs on our formulary. We keep growing. We keep adding new medications. And I don't think we're, we're anywhere near being done. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll continue to grow is, is, and continue to serve more people. Indeed. And the mail order makes it so convenient. It really does. I have talked to many people, uh, for instance, uh, with uh, uh, diabetes. And, you know, one complaint has always been that I hear from folks. Well, you know, uh, I have to go get it, you know, every month or I have to do this or I run out and I, they'll wait to the last moment. Yep. And you get down to the last thing and then they have to run out. But through RX Outreach, you, you don't have to do that. No, ma'am. We send out our prescriptions typically in three and six month quantities. And then we will notify people by mail when it's time for them to renew and we make it easy for them to refill the prescription. We'll, each, we'll even reach out for the doctor for them to help them get that renewal. And so by getting your prescription in the mail in either three month or six month entities, you know, those quantities will you know, help you to be more compliant with your medication, to stay more consistent in terms of your treatment. That's what I was going to say. I would think by having uh, by using your services, it's going to it's going to help folks to really stay on top of their medications. And with also notification when it's time to to refill. I mean, that's amazing. You know, and that's so important because, you know, things like hypertension, you may not feel bad, but they call it the silent killer for a reason. Mm. It can kill you if you don't stay on your medication. So if you've got something like hypertension, you need to stay compliant. You need to take your medication so it doesn't sneak up and hurt you. Yes, yes. Michael, And I know, of course, this is such a passion for you. And I know you've talked to you talked to so many families and so many individuals. Uh, what have you found that this is such a great need for seniors? You know, a lot of seniors, um, for example, they may get on um, Medicare, but then you get in the donut hole. Mm -hmm. And then you get in the, in the donut hole, you have to pay 100% of your costs. Mm -hmm. Or when you first start out, you have that big copay, and some people just can't afford that. Yes. And so those people typically come to us and they say, you know what, I've got this insurance, but I still can't afford mm -hmm. my medication. Mm -hmm. They'll come to us and we'll help them. You know, because we're not for profit, we don't care whether you have insurance, whether you don't have insurance. It's all income based. Mm -hmm. And if you're eligible, we'll help you no matter what. 
Yes, yes. And I know we have some families and folks who are listening right now, and they they surely want to know how to get more information about RX Outreach. Can you give us that? Oh, absolutely. You can go to rxoutreach.org, or you can simply call us at 888-796-1234. Give us that information one more time, would you? Sure. It's, uh, for RX Outreach, it's rxoutreach.org, or call us at 888-796-1234. Wonderful. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in, we're talking this morning with Mr. Michael R. Holmes, the president of RX Outreach. Michael, I also want to ask you, uh, when I went to the website and, and uh, you know, just trying to uh, feel around and, and get all information about RX, one thing that I just, I, I felt it was personable. It was personable. It wasn't, and I know it may sound funny, it wasn't cold as a uh, web, as some websites can be. You know what I'm saying? And, and I really got a good feeling just from going through the website. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We worked hard on that. <laughs> uh, we just actually recently revised the website, and it's actually staffed by people right here in St. Louis. Mm, that's so great. It's local people that are handling it. All of our pharmacists are graduates of the St. Louis College of Pharmacy, which is the oldest pharmacy west of the Mississippi. Yes. So we're local, and we're here to help. Indeed you are. Well, we're just about out of time for this segment, but you know what? We're in the first half hour of the CBC radio show. And when we come back in the second half hour, I want to talk about the beautiful, beautiful facility that you have that I've toured. And we'll just go more in depth about our ex outreach. Is that all right? That's fine with me. All right. Well, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and I told you at the top of the program we were going to be speaking this morning with Apostle C. V. LaFleur. Glory to God for this woman of God and the vision that the Lord has given her for the upcoming Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries Holy Convocation. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Apostle C. V. LaFleur. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning. Now, you know I'm going to ask you this question, right? Right. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's right. That's right. You know the answer to that. You knew that. (laughs) Well, I tell you, Apostle, we're so excited. The buzz in the St. Louis metropolitan area. We're talking about the Holy Convocation that is coming up September 9th through the 11th. You know, I just want to ask you, Apostle, you know, you've been obedient to the word of God. You've been in ministry now. Uh, How many years, Apostle? Oh, 26 years as a pastor, 13, 14 years as a missionary, many, many years. Yes, yes, and the Lord has blessed you continuously through it. And the Holy Convocation, tell us what that means to the metropolitan area. Uh, For the metropolitan area, which is our theme is moving forward, Mm -hmm. uh, God has brought our ministry which is, this is a biannual Holy Convocation. Mm-hmm. It's brought us to a greater season of freedom in Him. And we have always had, seen miracles of healing and powerful demonstrations on a small, you know, a real small spectrum in the village of Brooklyn. But God who has made all things new, has enlarged our territory where the world is now seen. We are harvesting the glory of God, you know, to make a difference in the world. Yes, yes. 
And, you know, that's really that's really what it, it's about. You know, we used to say, uh, you know, it's time out for church as usual. We've been, you know, folks have been saying that for years. But even when it was being said then, it was way past how it should <laughs> should be, because we don't have time for the usual. We don't have time just for church. We need to see a powerful move of God. Don't you agree, Apostle? I fully agree. And I'm saying uh, we're not going back. We're moving ahead because we have declared and decreed the past is over. Well, we are seeing the operations and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which has not been foreign to us for uh, uh, over 50 years or more. But there's a new upcoming ministries that have not had this mighty move. Uh, they're trying to operate in it, but they operate in it not in a holy way. Mm-hmm. And we're looking for signs and wonders. Yeah, yeah. To make believers of God. You know, Christ, we, we, we have to have this move of righteousness. Yes. Where the Word of God is transforming lives to become new. That's right. That's right. So I say, we're moving forward. That's it. Fellowship of churches and ministries, multi-denominational, so there's no limits, no boundaries, Mm -hmm. with the purpose of salvation in man. Also, I use this scripture as uh, used in Ephesians 4, for the perfecting. One scripture says equipping of the saints Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, mm-hmm. till we all do what? come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm-hmm. And everyone needs to be in this move. It's not that they have not known it, but they want going to see it in a greater fashion, a way where people know, hey, God has arrived and he has shown his glory. And I, I've been enlightened to know the hope of my calling. And so I'm expecting God to come with a mighty move. Yes. And yes. he has always come into a mighty move and has shown his glory. And God has said, greater, greater is coming. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. this area and mm-hmm. all the churches that's coming around, you know, other states. And I'm excited because this is going to be held at, because, you know, I tried to go in the direction of what our meeting was saying, but God had originally said to have this at the CMC building, which is the Crossroads Multi-Purpose Center, which is 8601 California Drive. It's really, if you go 76. 6th Street off of St. Clair in East St. Louis, and make that right and go into that frontage road. It says CMC Big on the, on the building. Mm-hmm. And he said this. And I'm saying, oh, and I try to get away from what God said because we usually have this type of event at the Collinsville Convention Center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What happened? Just as God said, that's what I had to do. That's what we had to do. And so God is bringing in some, some people. He's giving other people opportunities so he can show his glory to everyone. No one is excluded. We invite everyone who can come and have this great, glorious experience. And it will not be disappointed. That's it. I, I, I tell you, uh, we're counting down the days. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle C.V. LaFleur, Harvest of Glory, International Churches and Ministries, and St. Elizabeth Temple. Now, Apostle, this is going to be held on September 9th through the 11th. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 p.m. nightly. It's going to be held at the Crossroads Multi-Purpose Center. That's at 8601 California Drive, Caseyville, Illinois. And it's definitely going to be something that you don't want to miss. We want you to save that date to mark it down. Now, nightly, there is, there's no admission cost. This is free admission to come on in. Am I right, Apostle? You're right. Yeah, and yeah. we're having our souvenir books would just be $5. And if, uh, if uh, you want to be one of our vendors, 
you could call in and get information about how much the rental fee for your table for three days, or maybe you just want it for one day. And, um, and we're you know, having our souvenir books, too. Exactly. You know, we have our I want to add to that, Apostle. I, I want to add to that, if I could, for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the booths, the vendor booths, you're doing really just an exceptional deal on those. You can get one day, and I'll go ahead and say the cost because it's a phenomenal cost. You can go ahead for one day and uh, pay $50 for your booth, or you can do all three days for $100. Now, right. what's key about this is space is limited. So folks got to hurry and give us a call so that they can get those booths. Am I right, Apostle? You're right. Now, give us the phone number that you want people to call for more information to get those booths or if they want to be a part of the souvenir book. Well, they can call at 618-219-0343 or 618-661-6051. Or they could just email me at cvlafleur at gmail.com. Or Saint Elizabeth three o three at sbcglobal dot net. Yes, and they can also go to the CBC website. Uh, just go to the CBC Radio Show dot com, and you will see information on there as well about the Holy Convocation. Apostle, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you'd like to say from your heart about this phenomenal event that is coming up soon? Well, I want to say be in consecration with us starting August the 3rd. We're not say, just fasting. We are limiting ourselves with food. We're not eating till we're full. We're not watching TV all day long. We can stand on Facebook. And, and we're seeking God and praying around the clock. Mm. We want to be a part of this great, phenomenal, glorious occasion. Just tune in with us in the spirit, praying and trusting God for a change in your ministry and our ministry for us to do a mighty work in the St. Louis metropolitan area. There's a lot of unchurched people we need to reach. Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you, it's been an honor, as usual, having you on the program, Apostle. And we're going to have you back as we count down the days to the Harvest of Glory, International Churches and Ministries, Holy Convocation, September 9th through the 11th, 7 p.m. nightly. Thank you so much, Apostle C.V. LaFleur, for being on the program. And thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hi, this is Greg Happy Guitar Haynes. Good morning to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. I will see you at the All White Attire, the La Las Vegas style cabaret gala, Monday, August the 3rd, the tribute show of the legends. JC Supper Club is one of St. Louis's finest restaurants, lounge, and ballroom, featuring signature cuisine, great hospitality, and entertainment. Host your next event in our beautiful ballroom, JC Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview. For more info, call 314 755 1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon at J.C. Supper Club. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we had in our first half of the program our sponsor for the CBC Radio Show. We were talking with Mr. Michael R. Holmes, the president of RX Outreach. So he's back for the second half. I, I brought him back. I, he was he was he was like, I don't want to come, but he's here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not true. Uh, Michael, I want to uh, talk about who qualifies for RX Outreach services. 
services. Absolutely. Uh, we um, provide services to people up to 300% of the federal poverty level. So that means a, sin- a single individual can make 35000 a little over $35,000 and still qualify. A family of four can make $71,550 and still qualify to use us. Wow. So it's pretty liberal in terms of who we uh, support. But the reason for that is that medication is so expensive. And some of these drugs are so expensive that even if you're, you have a family of four and you're making a little over 70000 a year, you may still need our services. Yes, yes. Medications are so expensive. Uh, I believe that folks can go to the website and get information about the different medications. But you have some examples of pricing, don't you? I, I do. And, and you're right, right from the beginning that if you go to our website, we will actually list the price of all the medications that we have mm-hmm. right there. So you can see them. You can compare them. We actually have a, a tool that you can use to compare your drug prices for what you're par- uh, paying right now. Wow. And I would encourage people to do that. If you just take your prescription prescription bottles and take your cost. If you go to our website uh, at rxoutreach.org and mm-hmm. click on medicines, uh, mm-hmm. you know, patients and go to medicines, then you can you can um, go right to our calculator and it will show you, you can enter your medications, what you're paying, what our costs are, and it'll show you what you will save per year if you use us. Oh my goodness, that's invaluable. But but give us an example of some of the costs now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so someone who has heartburn, for example, their mm-hmm. doctor may prescribe Asafex for them, which is a, a brand drug. At retail, that's thirteen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. We provide that drug for thirty dollars. You Thir- got to repeat that. That, I, yeah. that doesn't the, make or that a- doesn't make As- sense. Asafex, which is a brand drug, costs thirteen hundred dollars at retail. We provide it for thirty dollars. Wow. Yeah. So someone that's on someone who's on uh, uh, who's a diabetic, maybe on Actos, that's four hundred dollars at retail. We provide that drug, the generic for that drug. That the generic is four hundred. We provide it for twenty five dollars. Someone who's got hypertension, they may be on uh, Valsartan or Diovan. Uh, they Valsartan costs three hundred seventy five dollars at retail. We provide that drug for twenty five dollars. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'll give you another one. Mental health. Uh, someone who's on uh, bupropion or Wellbutrin, mm-hmm. the uh, bupropion is $250 at retail. We provide that drug for $25. Oh, my goodness. It behooves you just to go to the website to, to just get a cost comparison. And, and that's what I tell people. Just go and look. Yeah. You know, we want people to be able to afford their medication. Yes. And we want them to, to go out to compare, to look. And to just do what's in their best interest. Yes. Always do what's in their best interest. Yes. And, you know, uh, this is a, a wonderful opportunity. Perhaps uh, we mentioned seniors in uh, our other segment for the family member to go and, and investigate this for them and to, fi- to let them know, you know, we don't have to spend this kind of money we've been spending. You know, a, a lot of um, people, especially the, the senior citizens, mm-hmm. you know, they're not uh, used to using the web. They're not savvy on right. doing all this. And mm-hmm. some are now. Some are True. pretty good at it. True. But there are a lot that just... Might be better they, than me. <laughs> yeah. Well, and some, but some of them just don't want to bother with all that. Yes. And so, and I have a lot of people that just call me on the phone because they just don't want to bother with all that. But, but so what I tell people, if you want to help someone, do it for them. If you know someone who's out there who's on a lot of medications, if you really want to help them, just sit down and spend, you know, 15 minutes with them. Take their medications and go to our website and plug them in and look what they're paying, ask them what they're paying, and compare to what we have. Yes. See if you can save them some money. Yes. You know, the whole concept behind this, we're a not-for-profit again. I'm not doing this to make money. We want to help people. Mm -hmm. And if we can help someone in your family, by the way, we can't help them unless you help them first. Right. You know, get them to the website, take their medications, and look and see if you you can... help them to save money. Yes, yes. And you know, that that really also leads into how we want to be able to go into the churches and to to, to talk to them, to give them a presentation, encourage the family for us to come together as a family and to investigate how our RX outreach can be of a blessing to them. So we're willing to do that. Absolutely. And, and let me let me just say, it's it's not just about RX outreach. You mm-hmm. know, even though, you know, we're here talking about RX outreach, mm-hmm. there are patients assistance programs out there for people where some Sometimes the people can get the medications for free. Mm. And there are some branded drugs out there that people can get for free. Mm-hmm. And there's a there's a website called needymeds.org. If they go to that website, occasionally you can find that medication for free. So I encourage them to go there and look for that medication as well. We're all about helping the people so they, they can get the medicine at the lowest possible cost. That's what it's really all about. 
It's about providing affordable medications for people in need. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it's about. And as we've talked about and as we know, uh, you know, times are so serious and so severe for so many people right now that for something like this, which is a major concern, that it can be lessened, that they can feel comfortable, that they know they don't have to make serious choices is unbelievable. And and they can help. Mm-hmm. You know, people sometimes won't do it for themselves. You can help them. Mm-hmm. Just spend a little time helping someone with their medications. You can you can save their life. Yes. Because if they're not taking their medication because they can't afford it, if you spend a little time with someone else, you may be, you may actually save their life. Yes. Because you'll be able to help them to get their medication at a lower cost or possibly even free. Yes. And if they can't afford it, they're not going to be able to take it. And if they can't take it, they could die. Mm-hmm. So you can really make the difference in someone's lives in someone's life just by spending a little bit of time with them. Yes, I believe uh, everyone listening to the program this morning knows someone or has someone in their family who can definitely <laughs> use this type of service. Give us the contact information again, would you please? A- absolutely. Um, our website is rxoutreach.org, and you can call us Monday through Friday. From 7.30 to 5.30 at 888-796-1234. And that's a toll-free call. Yes. One thing that that I also love, uh, Michael, is that this is uh, a non-for-profit that's right here. Right here in St. Louis. Founded right here. Founded in St. Louis. Based here in St. Louis. We ship all our medications Right out of St. Louis. Give us those figures again, because it's really staggering on uh, how many uh, uh, prescriptions are filled monthly. Well, each week we're sending out over 8,000 prescriptions, and that's over 30,000 months of medication that we're sending out each week. Wow. In the first quarter of this year, the first three months of this year alone, we've saved patients over $20 million. And in the last five years, we've saved patients over $300 million. Wow. Well, I I can tell you that I have been blessed to tour uh, your facility and it is it's outstanding the professionalism uh, the customer service I mean it's a it's a well oiled machine that's all I can say <laughs> I, I've got a, I, I can't take credits I've got a great team they do yes, an outstanding do. job mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm really blessed that God has brought the right people together and they all have the heart for serving others yes and, and that's what we want we're here to serve others you know we're, we're supposed to be Jesus was a servant <laughs> we're supposed to be servants and uh, to actually find a uh, 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 a company that is of of that is just amazing. We're almost out of time, and I know I've asked you some specific questions, and and you've spoken from your heart on that. But I want our listeners to to even hear more about uh, the passion that keeps you going for our X Outreach. You, you know, it it to whom much is given, much is required, hmm. and that's kind of what drives me in in life. Um, I don't do this uh, for anything other than the joy of serving and the responsibility I feel of giving back because of all that I've been blessed with in my life. And so I would do this for free and practically do at this point um, because I think it's my ministry. I think it's what I should be doing and I, I enjoy doing it. Well, uh, I I say this uh, at the end of every program, but I think it's very apropos right now, and that is to God be the glory. Absolutely. To God be the glory. (laughs) To God be the glory. And you're going to come back and on some other shows with with us, and we're going to talk more about our exile reach. You you can do that? I look forward to it. It'd be my uh, my, pleasure. be very happy to do that. Wonderful, wonderful. We honor. want to give that that website again for those who are just tuning in. That's rxoutreach.org. And the phone number is 1-888-796-1234. Mr. Michael R. Holmes, president of Rx Outreach, thank you for being on the CBC Radio Show today. Thank you and have a blessed day. All right. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. J.C. Supper Club is one of St. Louis's finest restaurants, lounge, and ballroom, featuring signature cuisine, great hospitality, and entertainment. Host your next event in our beautiful ballroom. J.C. Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview. For more info, call 314-755-1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon at J.C. Supper Club.
Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Welcome back, friends, to the CBC Radio Show. Hey, I want to tell you that that keyword that Mr. Bauckham talked about earlier in the program in order for you to get discount tickets to tomorrow night's Cabaret Gala at the Renaissance Grand Hotel, well, the keyword is glory. Yeah, that's a good word, isn't it? Glory. All right. So give Mr. Bauckham a call at 314-741-2444. 314-741-2444. And you have to use that keyword of glory in order to get that discount. All right. All right. Well, I want to thank Mr. Bauckham for being a part of the program and his friends today. Elder Happy Guitar Haynes. I tell you, Mr. Greg is a wonderful man of God and you have got to be a part of that cabaret gala tomorrow night to see what he has produced in the legend show you're going to be blessed you're going to be blessed and then i want to thank apostle cv lafleur of st elizabeth temple and harvest of glory ministries bless you woman of god thank you so much mr michael holmes president of rx outreach thank you for being a part of our show and you know everyone who has been on the cbc radio show thank you thank you thank you all of those who are to come. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com to get more information about all of the guests who were on the program today. If you would like to be a guest on the CBC Radio Show, call me 314-270-2225. If you would like to be an advertiser in our mega bags that we are giving at the Mega Fest on that bus, you want to get in contact with me as well. 314-270-2225. As always, in closing, my friends, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world.